Hello, I'm Rabbi Elton from the Great Synagogue in Sydney, and this is Ask the Rabbi. Our question today is about the first Mishnah in the Tractate of Rosh Hashanah, the first statement by the rabbis when they're discussing the festival of the New Year, which says there are in fact four New Years over the course of the year. This is what it says. There are four New Years each year. On the first day of Nisan is the Rosh Hashanah, the New Year for calculating the reigns of kings and also calculating the order of the festivals. On the first of Elul is the New Year for calculating the animal tithe. Rabbi Elazar says that it is the first of Tishrei, in fact. The first of Tishrei, according to everybody, is the Rosh Hashanah for years and for the sabbatical year and the Jubilee year, and also for certain vegetable tithe calculations. And that's the Rosh Hashanah we know and love and call Rosh Hashanah every year. On the first of Shvat is the new year for trees, calculating the tree fruit tithe. That's according to Beit Shammai, and Beit Hillel says, in fact, it's on the 15th of Shabbat. Now, of those four Rosh Hashanahs, only two are really celebrated. Rosh Hashanah on the first of Tishrei, one of the days of awe, very important occasion in the Jewish year, and Tu Bishvat, the 15th day of Shabbat, which is celebrated as a minor festival and marked as an important occasion to remember the trees and the fruit of the land of Israel. So why don't we make more of a fuss of these other days of the year? I think this question is in fact a little bit backwards because the real question is why do we make a fuss at all about Tu Bishvat, the New Year for Trees? And the answer is, historically, the Tu Bishvat was not a big deal. In common with other similar days, no Tachanun was said, the supplicatory prayers which are often omitted on happy or semi-happy occasions, but it was really the invention of the Kabbalists in Sfat and elsewhere in the 16th century which made Tu Bishvat and its celebration of the fruit and bounty of the land of Israel such a major occasion with associated uh, rituals and ceremonies. And if we look at the other Rosh Hashanahs in that list, we find that they are subsumed in other occasions. So, the first of Nisan is a Rosh Hashanah, but of course that is also Rosh Chodesh and we celebrate it as Rosh Chodesh. The first day of Elul is also Rosh Chodesh and is subsumed inside Rosh Chodesh. The first day of Tishrei is the Rosh Hashanah that we do celebrate very elaborately. And then we're just left with Tu Bishvat, which emerged in the late medieval, early modern period as a date of significance. It may have been the case that if these other Rosh Hashanahs had not fallen on Rosh Chodesh, and therefore we weren't saying Tachron anyway, they'd also have been identified by this uh, special liturgical feature, and therefore might have drawn more attention to themselves. But as it is, they fade because they are surrounded by the even greater rituals and significance of Rosh Chodesh. Thanks for joining.